Was Bill Paxton a victim of medical negligence? Did the hospital responsible face justice? Bill Paxton, the thrill seeker, the goofball, the action hero. He stole hearts and screens for decades, but behind the iconic roles and unforgettable lines, a tragic story unfolded. In this video, we'll celebrate Bill Paxton's incredible career from his early days in Hollywood to becoming a household name. Join us as we pay tribute to Bill Paxton's legacy, both on and off screen. Bill Paxton, an actor who left an indelible mark during the late 80s and maintained relevance through the years with hit films and shows like Titanic, Twister, and Big Love, passed away on February 25, 2017. At the time of his death, the actor was 61 years old. Paxton frequently emphasized that his greatest strength as an actor lay in his everyman quality. While he achieved fame and popularity through several lead roles, he believed it was his character roles that allowed him to delve into his acting potential and establish himself as an actor par excellence. Tragically, a year after his untimely death, Bill Paxton's family took legal action by filing a lawsuit against the Cedar Sinai Medical Center. The lawsuit alleged charged battery, negligence, and wrongful death related to complications arising from heart surgery. The legal action sheds light on the challenges and concerns surrounding the circumstances of Paxton's passing, adding a somber note to the legacy of the acclaimed actor. Bill Paxton, born to Mary Lou in John Lane Paxton on May 17, 1955 in Fort Worth, Texas, had a multifaceted background. Besides being a museum executive and overseeing the family's slumber business, his father, John Paxton, held a strong affinity for the arts. This familial connection exposed Bill Paxton to arts and cinema from an early age, fostering his interest in filmmaking. Having graduated from Arlington Heights High School in Fort Worth, Paxton decided to pursue his passion for the arts in England. He enrolled at Richmond College, where he, along with friends Tom Huckabee and Danny Martin, delved into creating several Super 8 short films. Following his graduation, he moved to LA with aspirations of becoming a director. However, after facing rejections, he shifted his focus to acting. In 1975, Paxton secured his first film role in Crazy Mama, an action comedy that marked both his debut and that of another popular actor, Dennis Quaid. Subsequently, Paxton decided to study acting, choosing NYU primarily to learn from Stella Adler, the renowned actress and acting teacher. Despite being inspired by Adler, Paxton left acting school after two years and returned to LA. In 1980, he returned to his initial love, film direction, and directed a short film called Fish Heads, showcased on Saturday Night Live. Paxton's acting career gained momentum in 1981 with a small role in Stripes, working alongside John Candy and Bill Murray. In 1982, he co-founded the music band Martini Ranch but didn't release significant work until 1988. Throughout the 80s, Baxton took on roles in films like Lords of Discipline, 1983, and worked with James Cameron in The Terminator, 1984, and Aliens, 1986. In 1985, he played a prominent role in Weird Science, showcasing his acting skills. Despite almost a decade of struggle, Paxton's breakthrough came in 1992 with one false move, earning critical acclaim for his performance. In the 90s, Paxton starred in successful films such as Tombstone, Apollo 13, and Twister. Notably, his collaborations with James Cameron in True Lies 1994 and Titanic 1997 further solidified his Hollywood presence. Paxton explored different mediums, producing Traveler in 1997 and making his directorial debut with Frailty, 2001, a psychological thriller. In 2005, Paxton directed The Greatest Game Ever Played, a biographical sports film 
and continued to explore acting roles. His significant television success came with the HBO series Big Love, 2006-2011, earning him three Golden Globe nominations. Paxton continued to deliver successful TV shows, including the miniseries Hatfields and McCoys, 2012, and roles in Marvel's Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., 2014, and Training Day, 2017. In early 2017, during an interview with Mark Maron, Bill Paxton revealed to his fans that he had contracted rheumatic fever at the age of 13, leading to a damaged heart valve. In the same year, Paxton made the decision to undergo open-heart surgery, choosing the renowned Cedar sinai Medical Center in LA for the operation. Unfortunately, just 11 days after the surgery, Paxton suffered a stroke, and he passed away on February 25, 2017. Nearly a year after the Big Love star's demise, due to complications related to his surgery, his widow, Louis Paxton, and their two children, James and Lydia, took legal action by filing a wrongful death lawsuit against the medical center and the cardiovascular surgeon who performed the surgery. The lawsuit alleges battery, negligence, and wrongful death, asserting that Paxton's life was lost due to the surgeon's lack of experience in the surgery exceeding the scope of his privileges. Additionally, it claims that the surgeon employed risky and unconventional techniques without informing Paxton's family. In a press release accompanying the lawsuit, the family, through their lawyer, accused a doctor and around 100 other hospital staff members of negligence. They claimed that when Paxton faced complications, the surgeon was not present in the operating room to address them. Even after the family requested hospital staff to notify the doctor of these complications, the surgeon did not return, leading to allegations of negligence and an inability to provide proper treatment and continuing care, ultimately resulting in Paxton's loss. The lawsuit emphasizes that the family was not adequately informed about the risks associated with the surgery. A report by USC Center for Health Journalism delved into the lawsuit, revealing that Paxton suffered from a bicuspid valve, a condition often associated with aortic aneurysms that can lead to fatal ruptures. The report emphasized that such risks in open heart surgeries necessitate thorough advanced notification to the patient's family. The doctor involved has since resigned from Cedar sinai Medical Center, but has remained unavailable for comments. The family's assertion of medical negligence leading to Paxton's death remains to be proven or disproven in time. The loss of Bill Paxton is particularly poignant for the film industry as it mourns the passing of an incredible actor known for setting the screen ablaze with his unique portrayal of diverse roles. Tributes from Storm Chaser spelling out the actor's initials by the Spotter Network, Jennifer Aniston's acknowledgement at the 89th Academy Awards, and Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. in concluding episode 16 of season 4 with What If? all serve as testaments to the profound impact Paxton had on his colleagues and fans alike. In conclusion, Bill Paxton will be sorely missed by those who admired his exceptional talents. Which Bill Paxton movie or show is your favorite? Do you believe the actor's family is right to sue the medical center? And do you think the surgeon is to blame? Share your thoughts in the comment section below. If you like this video, click the next one shown on the screen. I'm sure you'll like it. Thanks for watching.